One year ago, I began my game development journey and started learning Unity. This is a quick recap of my experience so far and where I'm at now. I've been a gamer my entire life, but always thought creating video games was nothing short of pure magic. It's not that I never tried before. In fact, my first attempt was back in high school when I took a programming class. In the end, I watched the guy next to me recreate Space Invaders while I could barely get a basic calculator program to run. Feeling quite defeated, I abandoned my dreams of ever making a calculator, much less a video game. Years went by, and while gaming was still a big part of my life, I focused more on other hobbies. I told myself game development was just best left to the pros. It wasn't until I played the game Stardew Valley that my interest in game development was reignited. I learned that all the art, music, and coding was done by one guy who apparently struggled to find a coding job. He initially just used game dev to grow his experience with C Sharp. I had heard about game engines like Unity and Unreal before, but honestly didn't understand what they did or how to use them. I did a bit of research, and when I saw Unity mainly uses C Sharp, I decided to give it a try. It was a nightmare. Of course, the first time I opened Unity one year ago, I had no idea what to do. I spent my first two months following YouTube video tutorials on Unity game development and C Sharp. My previous programming experience was mainly with a language called Visual Basic, so learning C Sharp was brand new for me. It would often take hours to complete a short 10 minute Unity tutorial. I'm not really sure if it was the fact that nobody was grading me this time, but unlike my classroom programming experience, I was actually enjoying myself. Drawing inspiration from Stardew Valley, I started work on my first game called Revna. It was a top-down 2D adventure meets town building type of game. I worked on it every chance I could. Solving what are now pretty basic problems often took me days at first, but I was still having fun. Eventually, I had a working prototype with character customization, procedurally generated worlds, day-night cycles, branching dialogue, NPCs, blah blah blah, all kinds of stuff that was really exciting and things that I never dreamed would wind up in a game I made. By now, I was about eight months into my game dev journey, and despite trying so hard to stay organized from the very beginning, I began to realize my C-sharp code was just a hot mess. It was at this time that I decided to scrap the original Unity project for my game and rebuild everything from scratch. Now, up until this point, I avoided 3D because of how hard stuff like modeling, rigging, game physics, and lighting are to learn. 2D is where I was first introduced to video games as a kid, but honestly, many of my best memories come from 3D games, stuff like Minecraft, World of Warcraft, and the Elder Scrolls games. I'm a huge fan of games that offer random discoveries in an open world environment. Although my 2D game was based around this idea, I couldn't shake the thought of how Revna might look and feel in a 3D world. Although my understanding of Unity and C-Sharp had grown a lot over the last year, I'll be honest, creating my first project in 3D felt like starting over from scratch. After nearly three more months of learning how to bake lights, rig character models, and use physics to calculate all kinds of stuff in the 3D world, I finally felt like I was getting somewhere. I will admit I have no time and limited interest in actually creating 3D models myself, but lucky for me, my wife is quite talented in this area and actually enjoys 3D tools like Blender. For now, I'm working with free assets in the Unity store to get a strong understanding of how to handle models once they're in Unity. Moving forward, my plan is to recreate the current prototype of my dream game, Revna, from a 2D world and transform it into a 3D one. This is uh, where I usually add a note about my new devlog coming soon, but I won't promise anything. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. That really does help me a lot. And if you want to stay updated on future things, go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.